What's up guys, my name is Potato and this is a quick little update video on uh, why there hasn't been any Minecraft videos except for Server Saturday on my channel for like two weeks actually. Um, first things first, it was because we had to go to the wedding, not had to, we wanted to go to the Ryan's wedding so Sniper Goose wedding happened and uh, we had to postpone some stuff and we couldn't really get anybody around because uh, I'm using my hands a lot to talk even though you guys can't, you can't see it but just imagine me just waving my arms everywhere you know. Um, so everybody was all uh, you know running around getting all that ready and everything like that and then after the wedding Ryan was still gone for a long time and everybody's schedule has been very um, well hectic to the point where it's it's hard to coordinate things and then we got a bunch of other stuff that we're playing like we had a little stint there and we still are playing Raiders um, Raiders with a Z uh, it's in closed beta right now in fact I think it's gonna be closed pretty soon I think it closes on the 29th I could be wrong on that they could have extended it or I just could be making stuff up I don't know um, other than that Playing a lot of Sleeping Dogs with uh, with Terry, as you guys can tell on my channel, I've uploaded what's five episodes, six episodes. We've played so much that I'm actually I have footage up until uh, episode 15, I think. So um, that's definitely going to be a game that we're going to be playing a lot of because there is a lot of content. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that. If not, I apologize. Uh, there will be more Minecraft footage when <laughs> I. There will be single player stuff. I can guarantee that because I only need me for that. Um, but I've been, you know, playing a bunch of other stuff. Raiders being one. And um, I actually got, I finally got around to playing Assassin's Creed Revelations. But uh, enough of that. I've been kind of just standing here. This is the other reason why there hasn't been any Minecraft videos is because we're working on getting uh, Mongoose Country to 1.3 finally. Now that most of our plugins are stable. And um, we've been putting together a new spawn. So this is where you're going to spawn. You're going to spawn right here. And uh, the lovely sun is just up there. Everything like that. But there's uh, four directions here where you can go. The clock tower and park area. You know, it's just kind of simple stuff. I'll be giving you guys the grand tour today since it's uh, about 98% done. Uh, we have blacksmith enchanting, nubtown, and farms. Uh, we already have a pre set in uptown for all the new people coming in I'll get to that later over here is the kit house shops and Clark's enchanting over here is docks NPCs and warp wall we're gonna check out the docks first since it's pretty easy right here is our message board where I'll put up things that uh, people may have missed via my tweets or Facebook or the forums or whatever if you guys are ever on and you're confused about something check this first and then check the announcements on the forums uh, that's usually just stuff that like, hey, I taken out this NPC, it wasn't working, whatever like that. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with our, our, um, our server, know that we have NPCs, uh, either for quests or, um, ways of trading in tokens for rewards and everything like that. Those are all going to be housed in these stalls right here on the, um, the, uh, well, the upside of the, the dock right here. You could see them all. Right there, they're not going to be color coordinated or nothing. The colors are just there to look fancy. Here's the docks, right down here. Um, a bunch of random chests and, and, and wood blocks and everything like that. Looks like Lime Studios is done uh, working on the other builds that I uh, I asked them to do. Everybody should know that docks are just full of crap, just random things in corners and stuff. There's nothing in these chests, nor I I don't think there's ever going to be anything inside of them um, more bricks and just random things on the dock from being unloaded from ships and we have some fucking glorious ships I'll tell you what this is going to be the warp wall where it's gonna be um, it's gonna host all the signs that take you to warps of builds that uh, I really really like um, the first three that are gonna actually go on here are gonna be the three builds that I have transferred over from the last map which is something I really hate doing because I like new maps because it, it sparks new creativity and new new ideas and stuff like that but some of them like this one way off in the distance over there which I'm not gonna go check out are just so fantastic that I need to bring over to the next map um, even though it's a pain in the ass for me to do it this right here is um, I don't know I, I in my head I was thinking of like port authority or something like that you know like maybe customs I, I'm not sure this is just a 
just a random building for right now, but um, you know, who knows? It may it may turn into something, maybe a quest for something later on. Maybe this guy wants a bunch of fish or something. I don't know. Could be anything. Here's more stalls down here, just to kind of take up some of the uh, the space. These uh, both these ships were built by uh, T Z C back. I've been calling him Z back. His name's actually Tim. Um, I just recently found that out, or maybe he told me. And I told him I wasn't gonna remember that. But um, I've been calling him Boatman Tim because he can make a fucking boat. Let me let me fly out here so you can actually see. This is the tiny boat. I asked him to build a bigger one back there, and uh, we'll get to that one in a second. But up here, it's just it's awesome. He's just he nailed it. Um, it just it feels like a real boat. I mean, you walk over here and you got the little little thing off in the back. Um, downstairs even has beds and uh, a whole bunch of crap that they're taking with them. A bunch of melons and everything like that. Some beds. It's freaking awesome. He did a great job with this, and I I could not be more happy with this thing. I actually I named this boat uh, El Fuego. Um. I was thinking about calling it like Tiny Fire or something like that, but then I was just like, nah, I'll just call him Fire. The Fire. I think, I think that's the Fire. I know Fuego's Fire, but, you know, El Fuego sounds more fancy. Uh, over here, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, over here we have a, uh, a crane that's actually loading up some stuff. Um, I built this crane. I'm not too happy with it, but I can only do so much inside of Minecraft, as you all know. So it's uh it's it's good for Minecraft one. Um, this boat right here is just fantastic. I, I woke up this morning, checked up on the surfer, and saw that he. I'm assuming he's close to finishing, or he's finished. I'm not I'm not 100 sure because there are a few things in here that he's uh he's obviously missing. Like he's missing a door there. Um, there's ladders down below that he, that that are missing. Um, you know, so I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell him short yet. Uh, because he could still be working on this. I am not 100% sure because he didn't say that he was done. But, you know, like there's no ladders here. Um, this seems very empty, you know, uh, because he... This one is much more furnished, which is why I keep assuming that he's going to add more stuff in here, especially the ladders here, you know. Um, here's the old cannon room. One more further down is the... Uh, the, the galley? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my boat terms. But, uh, see more missing ladders. Stuff like that. So, um, part of me just believes that it got too late. You know, he got tired. Signed off. Which is fine. Uh, we still have a couple more days. We're planning on doing the reset on the 30th, which is also the day that we're going to be sending out acceptance emails. So that means you have two more days because I'm shutting them down on the 29th. Um, for, uh, applications will be shut down on the 29th. So, if you guys still haven't applied... It's been like a week and a half since applications have opened. Get off your ass and apply. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You don't get in, you try again. Whatever. I know some people who tried like seven times and then they finally get in. It's not a matter of fact that it's a space issue. That's that's really what it comes down to. Where you can only accept about 20 to 30 people each time because I don't want to overload the server. Um, especially with the new map coming, uh, everybody's going to be online and it's going to be laggy for the first few uh, few days, if not the first week. Uh, because everybody's off exploring, creating, and generating new maps, or uh, you know, expanding the map. So it's gonna it's gonna be a little laggy, and I'd rather not have an additional 50 people, new people, on top of the hundred or so that we already have. Actually, I think our whitelist is actually closer to 200 people uh, since we've been open for a while. But anyways, over on this side of town is the kit, uh, the kit house shops and Clark's enchanting. Um, our server has, uh, it's not a creative server at all. Um, we're, I'm in creative mode right now because we're building the spawn, but um, it is a survival server, but we do give an opportunity to people to actually purchase items. Um, so if they um, they don't want to go mine a bunch of like uh, nether rack or something like that, but they got like a diamond, a spare diamond they can sell, they can get some in game money to uh, purchase other items. This right here is Clark's Enchants and Magics. We kind of just left it here for him so he can build it up. So Clark, if you are watching this, this is your little space right here and we'll let you build that up however you please. This is what Lime Studios is working on or worked on. I think he said he was done or he had to be right back or something. Um, this right here is modeled after the 
Boston French Market, I think it was, or New Orleans French Market. Um, it had like this like glass overhang uh, dealy, and then inside of it was all the shops and stuff. Um, they tried putting glass up here. They didn't like it. It was too see-through, but Ice had that nice opaque that they really liked, so um, he kept it. Uh, but these are all going to be the, our buy and sell signs for stuff. Like this will be uh, the Mossy uh, Smooth Stone where you can buy or sell some. So if you have a bunch and you want to sell it, you can. Um, and that goes all the way through here. Uh, there is Ender Chests as well in, in all these stations. So you can actually transfer your items from your home. So if you're home and you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff with you, just toss it into your Ender Chest. And then once you're out here, then you can pick and choose what you wanted to do or... If you didn't want to carry something, say like, oh shit, I need a bunch of melons. I'll buy a bunch of melons and then I'll drop it off in the ender chest so I don't carry it with me, but it's already home. So um, that's why there's a bunch of ender chests and stuff around. You can see we got tracks, everything like that. This is mainly so people can get the, uh, the harder to find blocks such as these special sandstone stuff. I'm actually, I'm currently on the, the newest version of John Smith. It's not edited. I just needed it so I can have... Uh, access to uh, emerald blocks and stuff like that, which I still hate the fact that he's making blocks look with these with these outlines. It's just it's so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. And the wool, the wool looks like like sand, like just colored sand. It's terrible. Anyways, I I always complain about newer versions of John Smith, but um, see these are all the um the records and stuff like that. I actually like how he has this set up. That's that's pretty cool. Um. And all this stuff all over here, over here are more shops as well. Um, these shops, you can actually see what's being sold inside of them just through the windows as well. So we have um, brewing stuff and wood, so that the all the different types of wood and leaves and stuff that you can buy. Then up top is all the um, all the brewing things. So uh, that's a quick way of seeing what's inside these stores. So you don't actually have to go in them. So this one, I know there's flour and then there's wool up top. Over here is uh, redstone stuff. So come in here, check out all the redstone stuff. And then upstairs uh, is even more. So you have the pressure plates and stuff like that. The new um, hook, oh, shit, hook something, right? I don't know. I uh, I haven't messed with them at all. I'm not, I'm not a snapshot guy. I tried it once, it wasn't really my thing. Mainly because there's hundreds of other YouTube people out there that do uh, look at this new preview and stuff like that. It's just it's not my thing. I'm not 100% sure what Lime Studios is doing over here. But he built like a little house. It's like a little bungalow. I mean, it's not a bungalow. I just like the word bungalow because it's fun to say. It's got a little multiple levels and it has a balcony. That's cool. We got a lighthouse over there. There's nothing really in it. This is basically it. It's just a ladder that goes all the way up to the top of it. And uh, then you can stand up here if you want. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Just, uh, just a lighthouse to be a lighthouse to look like a lighthouse and be a lighthouse. Um, let's go back into town and see. There's a lot of things in town, but when you really look at it, there's only a couple of things. So it's uh, we try to keep it to where it's not overwhelming. Uh, over here on this side of town, we have the blacksmith enchanting, nub town, and farms. I'll hit the back of the town in a, in a little bit. Uh, blacksmith and the enchanting rooms are right here. So we have a blacksmith right here who will also be able to sell things. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be selling emeralds or not just yet. So um, that's just sort of a placeholder. Uh, until then, you know, well, it'll, be, uh, it'll be here. But we do have an NPC as well who we've been calling the blacksmith, who is a blacksmith, where you just take your tool to him. So say if it's... Um, damage or something you can go up to him and actually pay him uh, a certain amount of our in-game money to fix your stuff and um god damn it there we go oh no it's raining weather sun i do like how rain or weather rather fades now and it isn't just instant that's really cool i like that a lot over here is the enchanting room which is pretty sweet this was built by uh lime studios he customized it to where you uh, you see all the levels over here on the side, and it only goes up to 30 because uh, not a whole lot of people actually take it above 30, I assume. But you just press the button, 
and then the books come down through the ceiling. So say I want 10 levels instead. And then it gives you more books. And then you do it again. Even more books. And then you can do max level 30. And, boop, boop. and then you have all these books. And then um, you just drop your stuff in there and then you get your uh, your enchantment. Which is, uh, is pretty cool. I like it a lot. And when you leave, it resets. So see, there's nothing. Well, except for the, the base one. Really, really cool. Super simple to use. Did a great job on that line. Over here is farms and Nubtown. Let me show you guys Nubtown real quick. There's a little bonfire area right here, a little hangout park. But this is Nubtown, which is right over here. And this is where all the new people are going to come and hang out um, and, and build. Basically, for all of you who applied or those of you who who do, donated to get in and everything like that. I want you guys to know that um, you're to build outwards from the town, you know, so try try not to go this way too much. You know, I want to see you guys take it out this way into this biome, seeing as how this biome is pretty big and um, it's very nice. Uh, so inside, I don't think, I told them to leave out a lot of the amenities that we usually put within our nub towns, like, uh, a place to sleep and a place to smelt stuff and crap like that because we have all that in the town you're right next to the town you guys are the extension of the town so don't go crazy I want you to I want to see if you guys can take the style that we put over here and extend it into um, I don't want to call it a sister city because usually sister cities are across the world like city I live in Manteca our sister cities in the Philippines <laughs> but uh, I don't know what this little hut is or if there's anything to it or if they just wanted to make a little hub, but that that's what they did. So that's an uptown over there. So if you do get accepted into the server, just remember you guys already got a space over here. Just build some real quick. You know, don't spend a whole lot of time on it. A lot of people seem to think that Nubtown should be like their main build or anything like that. It's not. It's just a place for you to meet all the older members, uh, mingle with the new people and uh just kind of show off a little bit of your style and then move on to bigger and better projects on the server. Uh, there's nothing over here. This room right here, I believe, is the nether room. There's no, uh, no sign out here, but you walk in and there's the nether portal right there in the center. Uh, we're going to light that up once we transfer maps. There's no reason for us to have it on now. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll check out the farms. These farms, uh, the main farm is off in the back. These ones right here, this is a little chicken coop that I made. Uh, it just, uh, you know, makes eggs. That's it. It does, uh, it does a pretty good job at it. Um, this is an original design from me. What's up? Taken from the idea that, you know, putting chickens in water makes them, all their eggs go down. Um, so I made this little area, and I, I think it looks uh, pretty nice. It's not really something I do, um, you know, inventing new buildings and stuff like that I'm, I'm just or mechanical I don't know what I'm talking about guys we got cows over here we got pigs over here um, and then down here we have all the colored sheep uh, this will also be a place where you can buy wool uh, I'll be putting up the signs later on um, so you don't have to shear them if you don't want to it's up to you guys over here is the farm has like a nice little park over here, a little waterfall. Here's all your wheat. Upstairs we have sugar cane. Go up there, you got your sugar cane and um, I don't know, just a, an overview of the wheat or something. And down over here is the coolest thing. Is um, I'm pretty sure Lime did this as well. It's a it's a melon and pumpkin farm that works via tripwire. That's that's what I was thinking of tripwire, not hook. Um, so when you walk in, it just automatically goes. And so you could just pick up all your stuff. It does keep clicking and stuff like that. You can see all the all the trip wires over here. Which is actually kind of fun to watch, you know? And then when you walk out, boop, they go back down. So then you got all your, your melons and pumpkins. Which is uh is pretty awesome. I like that. You don't really have to think about anything, you just walk in and grab your stuff and leave. So that's our farm. Uh, I went into this next this new spawn actually not wanting to 
make it bigger than our current spawn, but but this is this is definitely bigger, size-wise I think, um, not so much length-wise. That's fine. Down over here is the park area and stuff like that. I don't need to walk through this. So you guys can get the gist. Uh, we got a little gazebo over here, uh, and the clock tower, which uh, this town sort of sprung from. Um, the clock tower I really like. I don't really understand how it works. I think it just goes through. Like, you know, the numbers and stuff like that. You know, it does its, does its thing. But it does change. I'm not sure how often it it goes, though. So, I'm, I'm kind of kind of waiting. There it goes. Okay, see, so you can see it. It's changing now. And it should fill in because there should only be three that are turned off. Like, it just takes a it takes a, some time to, um, you know, do, do its thing. You know how redstone is. But uh, it works like that on all sides. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'm pretty sure Lime did that as well, or it could have been Tribeam, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can walk through it and everything like that. It's pretty sweet. We have uh, little houses and stuff like that. Uh, those are the farms, right? We have these little houses built um, because I might be putting quest uh, NPCs inside of them at a later date, so don't take these places. They're not for you. I'll kick you out. This is the kit room, uh, the old kit room, the new kit room. They all have the same function. They have a whole, uh, uh, whole bunch of chests in them. So when people donate, they get a token for depending on what rank they are and how much they donated, everything like that, which they can redeem uh, via the NPCs by the docks um, for kits and experience or in-game money, just whatever. It's just our way of, of, of having a coin or something to use. Um, so uh, if you've donated or something like that, you come to this room, uh, unless you used our, our uh, store on the website to get your stuff that way, then you won't have a kit inside of here. But you just check the chest that has your name on it. I don't know why all the chests are backwards, or these ones at least. I wonder if I can fix that by um, doing like a uh, replace, what is it, 54? There we go. All right, now they're all flipped. Um, not sure if the, someone world edited those ones in or if they built those on the other side of the wall, faced like that. I don't know. But uh, you check this place, just warp kit, and it'll take you to this room. Over here are a couple more houses that we're going to be putting uh, quests in sometime in the future. The uh, glowstone over there is from a build I transferred Kearney's. Um, I don't want to talk about the builds too much because I'm sure they want them to be shown on Service Saturday at a later date. But that's basically it. That's the new spawn. Um, we do have a back area over here with a couple more gazebos and a pathway that just leads out into the jungle. And, uh, well, rather a snow biome and then a jungle back there. But uh, pretty excited uh, to, to finally be on 1.3. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of cool things that come with that. Uh, I'm curious to see what people are going to do with those, uh, I already forgot, trip wires. I was about to call them hook wires again. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It uh, has plenty of function and plenty of style. Looks really cool. I like it a lot. And uh, thank you everybody who helped me out. And so thank you Lime Studios, uh, Buildsley, and Absolation. Uh, Tribeam, I'm, I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now, and uh, and Tim, or, or Zbeck. So thank you all for, for helping out and uh, sticking through it. Uh, I'm Hopefully none of you are butthurt from all the constructive criticism, if I can put it so lightly. And um, we got we to gotta get on this map. So all the people in Mongoose Country already, uh, be prepared on the 30th. If the server is down, it's because we're working on stuff. Or transferring things and everything like that so the 30th is the day it's gonna happen so today's the 27th so just FYI three days from now um, acceptance emails will be sent out and uh, this new map will be ready to roll anyways I'm gonna take off um, I, I don't have any let's play footage at all uh, like I said schedules are real messy right now so that's why everybody thinks SMP is dead it's not dead we're gonna bring it back it's just that it's hard to get everybody on at the same time to play together. That's that's the whole thing. That's the problem. It's not dead. We're going to bring it back. We love playing 
uh, Minecraft together. We're just trying to trying to figure out times to where we can we can actually do stuff. But uh, now that Ryan has a new microphone, thanks again to all of you. Um, he is very excited to to play more, and he's actually debating on uh, on filming himself, doing uh, doing some Minecraft stuff himself or other things. I know he's super pumped to do uh, some Halo footage for you guys later on uh, when Halo 4 is coming out. But until then, I'm gonna go. This video is way too long. I just wanted... You guys know me. I can't do quick videos at all. Every time I say this is gonna be a quick little video, it'll turn out to be like 47 minutes long. So, I'll see you guys later. Um, if you want, I have some more Sleeping Dog footage I can upload or Unmechanical for those of you who like my indie series. See ya, everybody. And I'll see all the new people on the 30th.